Hi, third and fourth graders. Welcome to your science class. And today we're going to continue talking about what? Tell me. Great, forces and movements. Okay, so today on 6.4, we're going to talk about the force meter. Okay, so force meter is a piece of equipment that measures the size of a force. The force meter measures the size of pulls. Okay, the unit of force is the neurons. Okay, this unit is named after a, the famous scientist Isaac Newton, who did a lot of work with forces. Okay, so if you push a door with a foam, you can see the size of the push, como lo hicimos con el globo la clase pasada. Okay, so um, we're going to watch a video and what is your homework? Okay, tu tarea es ver el video que está aquí y qué vamos a hacer. Tienes que hacer un mapa mental, creativo, bonito, ordenado, sobre la información eh, que tú creas más importante del video. Mínimo tienen que ser 15, 15 puntos importantes. Como un, el primero en el video nos dice que la unidad de fuerza son los newtons con N mayúscula. Entonces, esa podría ser un punto importante. Entonces, pongo Newtons is with a capital N, ¿ok? Otro que está por el nombre de Isaac Newton. Otro, eh, name after the famous scientist Isaac Newton. Y así vamos buscando información importante y la vamos poniendo aquí. Miremos el video. To this point, we talked a little about how big forces can be, but how exactly do we measure forces so we can compare them a little better? Well, first of all, let's look in Newtons, which we show with a capital M. And this unit is named in honor of Sir Isaac Newton, a physicist and a true genius who has impacted an incredible amount of today's technology. Remember that the force of gravity or weight is a force. So you can measure the weight of anything in Newtons. To get a feel for the size of a Newton, a medium apple weighs about one Newton. So a two Newton force is twice as big as a one Newton force. And of course, a 10 Newton force is 10 times as big as our one Newton force. Note that an old fashioned way to measure your weight is in pounds, which we still hear from time to time. Therefore, to describe your weight to a scientist or someone who wants it in modern SI units, you would have to convert it to Newtons. So if weight is a force, and we can measure weight on a floor scale, then, well, we have one good way to measure a pushing force. You can easily use a floor scale to determine how much pushing force you can create. Another word for pushing force is compression. To compress means to squeeze or to push together. For pulling force, you can use a spring scale to measure the strength of a pulling force. Spring scales are common for measuring the weight of fish or bike parts. And another word for a pulling force is tension. To provide tension means to pull apart. So in this tutorial, we continued on learning about forces. We determined that the size of a force is most commonly measured in Newtons. A Newton is about the weight of a medium apple. And to measure pulling forces or compression, we could use a floor scale. To measure pulling forces, 
or tension, we could use a spring scale. Okay. Okay, so after we watch this video, and sorry. Okay, so after we watch this video about how forces, um, how can we weight some forces, how to measure them, you're going to make the mental map that I told you, and you're going to do it on your notes, okay? So this is all for today, and if you have questions, you can write it on the comments of this video. And remember that there's a simple equipment which we can use the measured forces. If we don't have the force meter, um, we can use other things, okay? And the unit of measure of a force is the Newton. Remember that all forces can change their name, okay? Like compression, weight, um, and you're going to write them all on your mental map, okay? Bye.